In this video we're going to go over the eFlutter Pro's file mover application. What this is meant to do is go and find files out of a larger set of images. So say you shot an event and you have 500 images in a folder and you gave those as proofs to your client and they returned 50 or 60 of them and now you need to go get those 50 or 60 out of the parent folder. This is a little utility that will make it a lot easier. So what it, what it does is it asks you for a source directory, so I'll click on that, and then it'll bring up a little chooser where I can browse to the directory that I want to choose a folder from. So I already have one set up, just Santa Pics. I'm going to go ahead and click Open, and you'll see over here it populates all the files that are in there on the left-hand side. They need to choose Destination, I'll click on that, and this will also bring up a little browser window, and you can choose where you want to put them. Let's see, I'll just... For now, let's see, put them in the same folder but in a subfolder. And over here, that's an up folder, up one level, that takes you to the desktop, that creates a new folder, I'll click on that, and I'll call this folder selects, and I'll keep that highlighted and click open, so now you can see I have a destination and a source chosen. And over here on the left hand side, any of these files, I can double click on them and they'll move over into here. So this will become a little list that I'm going to build of the selected files that I want. Then when I've finished building that list, I'm going to click process and it's going to copy them from the source to the destination. So you can double click on a file and it'll move over there. You can highlight a file and click one of these buttons it'll move over there. But that's really not the coolest thing to do. And the coolest thing to do is to click inside this little box and as you enter in numbers, it'll filter the list on the left hand side and you can click enter. So as fast as you can enter in a string of characters that exists on the left hand side, it'll find them, filter them out until there's only one, and then when you get all the way down to just one, you can click enter and it'll move it automatically over into the right hand side. So let's see, oops, went one too far. There's file 123. I didn't have to type in image underscore o123.jpg. I just have to come up with a string that exists somewhere in the file name. So if I typed in mg underscore oo5, you can see it's sort of filtered out by that. That wasn't a very good example. What I meant to do was, yeah, that's not going to work so good. But you can see what I mean. So as, as fast as you can type in numbers, and if you're following a list, you'd just be able to type those in as fast as you can using the 10 keypad and pressing enter. You don't need to press the next button up here, and you don't need to use the add prefix or add suffix. And once you've, get your list, once you've gotten your list built, you go down here and you click the process button, and it's going to, once again, show you the list that you've selected. And once you click start, it's going to go down the list and it's going to copy them. It's not going to move them, so they're still going to be in the source folder. So it says it's done. Let's see if we go browse out to where that is. Shoot Santa Pics. And you can see it created this folder called selects, and then there's those files. Nothing ever happens to the files themselves. They simply just copied, get copied and stuck into the folder that you chose couple other things in here that you could set. Uh, right now the basic configuration that it has is it's set to look for JPEGs, PNG, and GIF. If you wanted to add in raw files, you just need to separate them by a comma. So this would be comma.cr2, comma.dng, uh, or whatever files that you want to use in here. But by default it's set up for JPEG, PNG, and GIF. And auto source, that's the thing that's allowing you to auto select. I would not turn that off. And you do want that checked. And under advanced, that's just a memory setting, and you won't need that for this application.